What's up guys, iOS 11 was released today. I'm sure a lot of you before updating wanted to see, is it faster, is it slower? How is the performance on my device? So that's why I assembled every single iPhone that currently supports iOS 11 right now, including the 5S, 6, 6S, SE, iPhone 7, and 7 Plus series, just to give you a very solid idea in many areas, many tests, how iOS 11 is compared to iOS 10.3.3. So iOS 11 versus iOS 10. Is it faster? Is it slower? And overall, how is the performance? That's what I want to see with this video. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm going to start with the three oldest series here. So we've got the 5S, the 6, and the SE. Now on the left will be iOS 11 on all of these, and on the right, iOS 10.3.3. So I'm going to go ahead and start them up in three, two, one, and they are off. So I expect iOS 11 to be slower. In my earlier tests, it was, but that was in the earlier versions of iOS 11. Who knows, it could surprise me. For some reason, this is a really dim screen. I noticed that in iOS 11, it does this weird thing where it starts booting up, flashes, turns on again, and there we go. So iOS 10 did turn on first on the iPhone SE series, also on the iPhone 6 by a considerable five seconds at least. Also the 5S, on iOS 10 beat the iPhone 6 and iOS 11. Interesting. There we go. So um, iOS 10 won on all of these devices by at least five seconds on the older devices on the 5S. As you can see, that was like a 10 to 15 second difference. So quite significant, wow. Not sure that I would update my 5S to iOS 11 just from this test alone. Let's move on to the three newer ones. All right, and same deal, iOS 11 on the left, 10.3.3 on the right, and three, two, one and they are off so this is the 6s series the 7 and 7 plus on the right i wanted to throw these guys in here because they do have an additional gigabyte of ram and that might make a difference here there's that bothersome flashing on ios 11 don't even know why it does that wow these guys are quick the 7 and 7 plus on ios 10 booted up first and uh there goes ios 11 last on all of them so if you guys are worried about your device starting up a little bit slower for whatever reason, iOS 11 does slow down the startup of your device, maybe because of all the new assets, the new features it has to load. So um, yeah, that does bother me a little bit, but I don't turn my device off too much for it to really matter. All right, so starting with the slowest devices, I wanted to do an unlock animation test. And actually, just to show up the clock, take a look at that, it actually takes longer. If you wanna check your time, that's gonna appear in a delay and that's gonna add up, I guess, throughout the course of your day, huh? It's a bit annoying. All right, unlocking in three, two, one with the screen on. Oh, both did not respond. Once again with the screen on, one, two, three. Ooh, I forget it's a first generation touch ID, it's slower. So iOS 11 does unlock a little bit slower, check that out. And then with the screen off, one, two, three. Yeah, definitely a little bit of a hang there. All right, so control center. Ooh, iOS 10 is still a bit sticky. Notification center, now the cover sheet's pretty much the same. We don't really have that bounce anymore. Uh, let's try the app switcher, one, two. About the same, so not a terrible uh, difference. So pretty much the same. With the cleared app switcher, let's go ahead and open up settings, one, two, three. Ooh, wow, there is quite a hang on iOS 11. And the app switcher, one, two, three. Or the app store, I mean. And uh, did load first, cool. Faster on iOS 11, one, two, three. For the camera, iOS 10 did load that faster. Considerable amount of delay on iOS 11. And next up with the iPhone 6, screen on, touch ID, one, two, three. Oh, both about the same there. And with the screen off, one, two, three. Little bit of a hang on the iPhone 6 with the lock screen now. Control center, both a bit sticky, not sure what that's about, all right. And the lock screen or cover sheet. About the same there. App switcher, one, two. Ooh, bit of a hang on iOS 10 now. Huh. And uh, clear the app switcher, one, two, three. Again, it hangs on iOS 11 for a considerable amount of time, but I haven't been really using iOS 11 on this guy often, so it may be just because of that. And actually opening and closing an app, just about the same on both. They do have that nice little animation. Jumping into the app store, one, two, three. And again, faster on iOS 11. That is nice, the new app store is fast. And the camera, one, two, three. Again, slower on iOS 11, not liking this trend here. All right, and the iPhone SE series. So with the screen on, unlocking, one, two, three. 
Oh, massive delay there on iOS 10. One, two, three. There we go, a little bit better. The screen off, one, two, three. About the same. App switcher, one, two. Very quick and responsive. One, two, there we go. Yeah, and the notifications under. So it feels pretty much the same to me. And uh, clear the app switcher. Settings, one, two. Same, no delay on this one, App Store, two. And uh, again, loaded just a tad bit faster on iOS 11, I'm liking that. Camera, one, two. Slower on iOS 11, even on the iPhone SE. All right, and the iPhone 6S. From this point on, I don't really expect much of a difference. But lock screen in three, two, one. Both pretty quick. This is where iOS 10 starts to hang. Notice that the animation is quicker now on iOS 11 and with the screen on, one, two, three. Definitely faster on iOS 11. Wow, this is the turning point, 6S. Now, uh, control center, one, two, three. Both pretty uh, much the same. I don't like how sticky this one feels. It doesn't have the bounce that iOS 10 did. And uh, notification center, one, two, about the same. Then again, you don't waste time with the bounce, like trying to wait for it to finish the animation. So I guess Apple thought that through. And the app switcher, one, two. And settings, one, two. Same, app store, one, two. Uh, let's see, both a little slow on this one. And the camera, one, two. Again, slower on iOS 11. All right, and the iPhone 7, here we go. Lock screen animation, one, two, three. Ooh, a little bit faster on iOS 11, still screen on, one, two, three. Definitely faster, wow, that is impressive. One, two, three. I think that alone is a very compelling reason to update to iOS 11, just because you spend a lot of your time waiting for your device to unlock. And if that means a twice as fast unlock on the newer devices, by all means, update to iOS 11. That is seriously awesome. So inside, let's try the control center. About the same there. This one has so much stuff to load though. Let's try the app switcher, one, two. Oh, faster on iOS 10 on both tries. Interesting. Notification center, one, two. Same. Let's try settings, one, two. About the same. App store, one, two. And uh, iOS 10 loaded that one faster. Camera, one, two. Again, iOS 10 loads the camera faster. Let's see if that's consistent though. If we clear it out and try it again, is it still slower? One, two. Nope, actually, I feel like that was a one-time thing. One, two. Oh no, it is. It does have a tiny little delay before opening. And the 7 Plus series with that additional gigabyte of RAM. One, two, three. Ooh, about the same on this one. One, two, three. A little bit slower on iOS 10 and with the screen on, one, two, three. So yeah, with the screen on, you do get a little bit of a faster animation, definitely. Yeah, I'm liking that. Control center, a bit of a delay just because I have so many icons on iOS 11. App switcher, one, two, iOS 10. Yeah, there's a hang for some reason. Notification center, about the same there. And the settings app, one, two, same. App store, one, two. And iOS 10 loaded that one first. And the camera, one, two. So that's it for the actual speed portion of this. Next up, I wanted to do some benchmarks and see all of these devices compared to their iOS 10 counterpart. How do they do in a Geekbench? All right, guys, and here are those scores. So this is the 5S, the iPhone 6, SE, the iPhone 6S, iPhone 7, and 7 Plus. In general, what we can see is that iOS 7 does have a lower score in most areas than iOS 10, but it's so close, such a close call that you really can't say that iOS is slower based on this alone. Overall though, the multi-core score for iOS 11 seems to be higher. It's the single core that's lower in most phones. So pretty close all around here. I just thought I'd throw in the Antutu benchmarks, which seem to be all over the place. iOS 11 in some cases is lower, in some cases drastically higher than iOS 10. Very interesting. All around though, on the newer devices, it seems iOS 11 is faster here. All right guys, there it is, my ultimate iOS 11 speed test, comparing it on all devices. What is my conclusion? My conclusion is that iOS 11 in most cases is either the same speed as iOS 10 or a little bit behind. In terms of unlock animations, if you have a newer device than an iPhone 6S, it's gonna be faster, it's much better. It unlocks your device with the screen on much faster. So overall, I would say this is a worthy update to iOS 10.3.3. Apple has been working on this thing for a very long time. This has the record amount of betas before release and it all shows here. The only thing, my only complaint 
problems with it is how buggy it is at the moment. There's a lot of visual glitches. The rotation landscape bugs are still there for whatever reason. Apple still has a long way to go. So I would totally recommend if you guys haven't updated yet to just wait until iOS 11.1 or the future updates come out. It will definitely get better because right now you definitely see the optimization isn't fully there and it's still sort of in a beta, I guess you could say. But from a purely speed standpoint, it doesn't make your device that much slower, if anything, just a little bit, not very noticeable in day-to-day -day life. So it is a worthy update to iOS 10 in the speed department. Stability still has a lot left to be desired. So hopefully this video made it a little bit easier for you to decide whether or not iOS 11 is for you on your device. Uh, thanks for watching guys. And if you do update, let me know how it goes in the comments down below. Peace.